Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to remove a brand or a logo without using your clone stamp or healing brush. Here's a good example. I'm going to zoom into this logo that we see on the exercise equipment in the background. And as you can see, we could use our clone stamp and we could sample from this area here and we could carry it over, over to the brand. Um, but I think that might be too time consuming and it could get a little messy. So I'm going to show you another way that I think is a little quicker and uh, definitely will help with your workflow when you're removing logos. What we're essentially going to do is make a selection around the entire logo and we're going to fill it in with a solid color and we're going to make a couple of filter moves after that to help it look a little bit more realistic. So the first step that we need to do is make a selection around the logo. I'm going to go up to my lasso tools and I'm going to choose polygonal lasso. Now I'm just going to quickly make a selection around the logo. You might want to take a little bit more time than I am, but I just want to make a quick selection. Now, whenever we are making these kind of selections, you always want to make sure that you do feather the selection to make it and keep it looking realistic. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go up to Select, Modify, and Feather. We have eight pixels selected right now, and I think that's probably appropriate since the brand is in the background and it is slightly out of focus. So we are seeing a lot of feathering, and I think the eight pixels will work perfect. Now the next step is to create a new layer because we don't want to fill in the color onto our pre-existing background layer. So I'm going to go up to Layer and New and choose Layer. Now we have our new layer, we have our selection, and it's been feathered. The next thing that we need to do is fill this selection in with a solid color. Now I'm going to sample a color from the, this background here so that we can keep it with the same hue and color. I'm going to go to my eyedropper tool and I'm going to select that area in there. As you can see, the gray has been put into my color palette now. The next step is to go to our paint bucket tool and then click into the selected area. And as you can see, that's filled in the selection with the gray that we had sampled. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And as you can see, What's keeping this from looking realistic right from the start is that it's a very flat color. Now, we're going to do a couple filter moves that are going to help us make this look a little bit more realistic. The first one is filter, noise, and add noise. Now, it's a percentage amount that you can add. What I like doing is just sort of looking at the, the pixels that we have existing and comparing it to our selection and trying to keep the size of the pixels similar. Now there is one other filter move that we're going to do before we're finished with this. So it doesn't look quite perfect yet, but I think this is a good percentage. So I'm going to keep that at about seven. The next filter move that we need to make is blur and then Gaussian blur. Again, you can play with the, the radius of this. Uh, I have it set for 0.5 pixels right now. And just looking at the background, I think that looks fairly good. So I'm just going to say, okay. Now I'm going to click on Command-D or Control-D on a PC just to deselect the, the selection that we've made. As you can see, this matches up fairly quickly with our background. And I'm just going to zoom out. And as you can see, the one thing that we do need to do is remove the uh, cable that's running through the exercise equipment. And I'm just going to do that now. So again, I'm going to go up to my lasso tool. I'm just going to make a, a quick selection around that cable. We have to make sure that we feather the selection. This time I might not go as high as 8. I think I'm just going to go to 6. Hit enter. And after that, all we have to do is hit the delete key a couple times to remove the selection from that selection there. Again, I'm going to hit con uh, control D or command D on a PC to deselect. And as you can see, we've made that selection look pretty good. Um, just going to zoom out. And as you can see, just clicking on the, on the layer that we have here before and after, as you can see, that's pretty quickly replaced the logo in the background. And you could use a little bit of dodge and burn to add some shadows and, and make it look 
more, a little bit more realistic and just finesse it in a little bit more. Once you've done that, the last step is to merge your layers or flatten the image. And once we finish that, the image is ready to be submitted. I hope this has helped and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.